first order of these have a very nice geometric interpretation, a geometric perspective that we get by remembering that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function. Therefore, this equation is telling us that the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the solution y is f of xy. So looking at the xy plane and picking any point with coordinates x and y, we evaluate the function f at xy to get a number and that will be the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the solution y. That slope can be represented by a tiny line segment that passes through that point and has for slope exactly f of xy. If we do, do this for many points in the xy plane, we get uh, what's known as the direction field. And this direction field is giving us an idea about the solution curve because any solution curve must follow the direction field. And therefore, the solution that passes through that point has to then follow these directions and we get the solution curve that you see there. Uh, these first order of these also have a very nice numerical perspective that we get by taking a small step size along the x-axis and approximating the derivative dy over dx by the difference quotient delta y over delta x. So delta x is the small step size along the x-axis and therefore the change in values of the solution that is delta y is approximately equal to f of xy times delta x. Therefore, y at x plus delta x is approximately equal to y of x plus f of xy times delta x. And so once we are given an initial value, such as that point over there, we can approximate the solution uh, to the differential equation by taking uh, small steps of uh, delta x along the x-axis and the corresponding y values, the approximations, uh, well, will be given by the right-hand side over there. So to go from y naught, x naught, y naught to x1, y1, where x1 is x naught plus delta x and y1 is then y naught plus f of x naught, y naught times delta x. And then this process can be, this um, can be iterated to get to the next approximation. So taking another step of that x along the x-axis leads us to this uh, y value, this approximation using the right hand side over there. And thus uh, this iteration leads us to this um, general formula, the nth iteration, um, which is uh, called Euler's method to solve uh, first order um, differential equations. So to use this, and this example basically is telling us to take a small step along uh, the x-axis, some steps of delta x we are taking, and then that means I'm following uh, the uh, direction field for a certain um, amount delta x along the, along the x-axis, and then go from there whatever the uh, direction field is telling me um, to go whichever direction I do that for uh, another delta x and then for another delta x and that way I get an approximation to the solution curve as you can see it is really just an approximation okay let's solve some problems using direction fields and Euler's method select the differential equation with this direction field so pause the video and select your answer now. Okay, I hope you paused it and I realized that f of x, y being just y produces this direction field and you can see that by looking at the direction field and noticing, for example, that for a fixed y value that is a fixed height, you get all, all the same slopes and for positive y, you get positive slopes. For negative y coordinates, at those points, you get negative slopes. This is the only option that actually uh, has that, uh, those characteristics. Let's look at the next question. Select the differential equation that has this direction field. Uh, pause the video and make your selection now. Okay, so this is the, uh, the differential equation y prime equals minus x over y that has this direction field. Um, and you can see that again by first noticing that 
along the y-axis where x is equal to zero we have horizontal um, um, uh, slopes uh, ze zero slopes horizontal tangent lines and so when x is equal to zero we really get zero um, only in this in this um, for this this option therefore this is the only uh, differential equation whose direction field can behave like the one you see there. Let's look at the next question. Use Euler's method with step size delta x equals 0 0.1 to approximate y of 0 0.2 where y of x is the solution of this initial value problem. So pause the video and input your answer, the approximation, round it to two decimal places in the box. Hope you paused it and have inputted 1.22 for the approximation. So let's just for, first realize that the function f of x, y here is just simply the sum of x and y. And so um, the step size delta x being 0 0.1 means that we start from the x value, that is x naught equals 0, where y the y value is equal to 1 and this is by the initial value now the next uh, x value x1 is taking a step of delta x from the from x naught so 0 plus 0 0.1 that's uh, 0 0.1 and let's figure out what the corresponding y value is that is by Euler's method uh, y1 is y naught plus f of x naught y naught times delta x and that is um, 1 plus the sum of uh, x naught and y naught so that's 0 plus 1 multiplied by delta x that is 0 0.1 so we have 1 plus 1's 0 0.1 so that's 1.1 that therefore y1 is 1.1 now we need y2 the next approximation taken, taking another step so x2 is then 0 0.2 and it's y2 that we are asking for um, y2 is then by Euler's method is y1 plus f of x1 y1 times delta x and that is y1 being 1.1 plus the sum of x1 and y1 so x1 is 0 0.1 and y1 is 1.1 multiplied by delta x that is 0 0.1 therefore we get 1.1 plus in the parentheses we have 1.2 this is multiplied by 0 0.1 and so that's 1.1 plus 0 0.12 and this sum is then 1.22 exactly and that is the approximation of the solution y at 0 0.2 y2 um, is approximately 1.22 i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one